research is one of the types of descriptive research and aims at determining the current status of a defined population at a given point of time with respect to one variable or more than one variable. Now, say for example, the researcher is interested in identifying the adequacy of resources in technical institutions in the state of Punjab. Or the researcher is interested in determining the extent of job satisfaction of teachers working in technical institutions in the state of UP, then survey research is the kind of research which needs to be undertaken. So survey research, as Cohen et al. has remarked that it gathers data at a particular point of time and describe the existing conditions. It also helps in setting the standards and comparing the existing conditions with those standards and also help in establishing relationship between two or more than two events. Survey research tries to answer questions which relate to what? When I say the adequacy of resources, it is what is the extent of adequacy or what, how adequate are the resources available with the institutions? Or when I say extent of job satisfaction, it is again what is the extent of job satisfaction of teachers working in technical institutions? Survey research is systematic and follows orderly steps. It is representative. It represents population which is defined and thus the sample selected uh, from the population is representative of the characteristics of population and the findings of survey are thus generalizable to the population. Survey research is theory based and theory provides the background for selecting a problem, formulating its objectives. It is quantitative. Primarily the data which is collected in survey is quantitative and thus it is amenable to statistical analysis for generalizability. Survey research is replicable in the sense what survey is carried out can be repeated in different context. Now see what kind of questions can be answered. If you are interested in studying the enrollment trends, the learning styles which are preferred by the students, the satisfaction level of students with curriculum and instructional processes, the qualification and the experience which teachers have or you are interested in finding out the attrition rate of faculty from technical institutions or you are concerned with degree of acceptability of the graduates from the technical institutions. All these questions are related to what and they are determining the current status of the defined population. There can be two different types of survey research. One, population survey, where the defined population is taken into account and data is collected from the total population. And census is the best example of population survey because each and every household is taken into consideration and data about the individual members is collected. Normally, surveys are sample surveys. Sample is normally selected from the defined population and sample is representative of the population and then data is collected and the findings are made generalizable to the population. Survey research can also be classified into cross-sectional survey where a snapshot of a defined population is taken and data is collected or they can be classified as longitudinal survey. As the term indicates, longitudinal refers to when data is collected over a period of time 
and longitudinal surveys can be trained surveys where we try to determine the trend for example you are interested in enrollment trend for the last 10 years whether there is increase or decrease in the enrollment in a particular discipline or it can be a cohort study which includes a population defined population but different samples are selected over a period of time from the same defined population say you have first year students and they remain with you for four years so you try to select different samples in during different years and try to find out how the attitude of students of first year change over a period of time uh, that is four years you can also have panel surveys which include same sample from the defined population which is studied over a period of time say the students of first year you select a sample which is representative the same sample is studied for the next four year and the changes are mapped then follow up surveys can also be taken up when the students graduate from a technical institution they are followed with respect to the kind of jobs they occupy the positions they occupy the salary they get and how they progress in their career for the next 5 to 10 years the process of conducting a survey research starts with identification of a problem which starts from a very generic topic and then the problem is specified and variables are identified and objectives or research questions are stated the next step as followed in researches to review the related literature in order to finalize the methodology in order to formulate the hypothesis and also to support the findings of the survey study sample selection is a crucial step in survey research because the sample if it is representing the population then the findings can be generalized to the population so caution has to be taken in selection of sample if homogeneous population is there any random sampling technique would do but if the population is heterogeneous maybe one has to go in for stratified random sampling so both probability and non probability sampling techniques can be used depending upon the research questions and the population in view the next step in survey research is to design the questionnaire as questionnaire is the primary tool for collection of data so care has to be taken in designing a questionnaire which contains relevant unambiguous questions and unbiased information is sought from the respondents the return rate of questionnaire is very low so the researcher must take care in selecting the sample and ensuring the high response rate from the respondents while the data is collected through a questionnaire and i am referring to that the response rate is low second thing which a researcher must keep in mind is that many people will not fill in the complete questionnaire and leave the some of the questions or the items in the questionnaire so care should be taken to exclude the data from the analysis or care should be taken while interpreting the findings of the study the data collection is uh, very simple in survey because questionnaire has to be handed over or mailed to the respondent selected for the study once the data has been collected it is subjected to either descriptive statistics or inferential statistics and here which statistics would be used depends upon the research questions which you have formulated or the objectives of the study which have been stated so in nutshell 
the process of conducting survey research follows these six steps that is identification of the problem reviewing the related literature selecting the sample from the population and developing the questionnaire for use in the study collection of data and analysis of data and interpretation of the findings and ultimately you can prepare a survey report